So every time that I go for a bike ride or a run, I get my body ready because when you just blow out the door and you're in a rush, you're wasting time. Why not make each effort that you do worthwhile? So let's get the body prepared and get your mind focused for the task at hand. What we're gonna do is engage the glutes and all sides of the core, let's call it, in a functional way that gets you ready for running and cycling and whatever else you're doing. Uh, sitting in a chair is also important too, doing it the right way. So whatever you're doing, do it right. And what does that mean? Hopefully this will help you. And we're an ancient room, there's a lot of sculptures on here. Might as well fit in, but I won't go any further to YouTube after all. Now, proper chair, okay? Don't let the knees come forward. Uh, don't scoot the butt back. Butt goes straight down, okay? And you'll find where that is for you. Where Wherever your stuck point is, sit down into it. Okay, eventually, you'll be where you need to be. I like to do a little bit of this. Focus stepping back. The more skilled you are, or the more uh, prepared your body is, let's say, you'll be able to do it under more control. This takes balance. Then when you step back far enough, so if you're stepping back, uh, if you're not uh, far enough back, when you go down, uh, you're just gonna have a lot more room in your body. Step all the way back. Then place the, the emphasis on your back leg. So you're pressing down at the ball of your back foot, Couple of sets there. And you get your, your breath is just automatically going to start warming up. So use it. Now, a little bit of hip hinging. You come up the same way you came, pressing down into the legs, using your legs, using the flat back. Then, so you got a little bit of hip engagement going on. Now what about the shoulder girdle? If the heart drops down too much, you're gonna have problems with your shoulder impingement. Too far up, you're gonna be overactivating. Somewhere in the middle. So your arms and legs are working together. You can do some proper push-ups. Not overpowering the arms, okay? Smooth. Using your biceps like hamstrings, pressing forward through the biceps. So then from there, you can do some side plank. Push the hips too far back. You're not going to get the full effect. Then to add a little bit of... So once you've got your stable side plank, add some dynamic stuff to it to challenge the stability. Okay, and if your if your if your low back on one side feels like it's toast, you're scrunching in too much. Lengthen it. Let your butt, let that the downside butt, take the effort. Switching sides, of course. So relax the back or let it be part of the equation, but not the whole thing. So your butt is actually getting tuned up. There's all sorts of things you can do here. You can make it a stretch. You can turn into a Turkish deadlift. So let your back relax or let your, let your abdominals and your legs work together, pressing through the feet, okay? So again, showing up from the other side, your side plank, tap the top foot down, heart reaches straight up, butt goes down, press back up. So, working our way around the core here, while we we're here in this position, let's get some neck strength. So, a little bit of cobra action. The arms stay relatively relaxed, but you draw the chin in, lengthening your spine up. This is going to keep that when you're running. If you ever 
You know, if you're looking at the horizon, your head's bumping all over the place. Keep your neck strong. This is what that's going to help with. As you're curling up, you're using your cervical flexors in association with your core. So you're going to stay stable. Now, it's a transition. Do a little full squatting here. Do some wide squats. Opening up the inner groin. Keeping the spine long as you make your hips do the mobiliz mobilization. Then, butt down. Lift your feet. Ooh, it's a hard one. Stay on your sit bones. And if that's too hard, keep your feet flat. Keep your chest up. Keep your breath flowing. And then from this position, you can practice bicycling. So you're getting in touch with how the core is connected to the movement of the limbs. Because if you're just moving the, the limb without any association, you're going to feel some loss of power. So that's the point of this whole thing is if you're going, uh, if, you're, if you're not engaged in the nuances of the activity, if you're just flailing around, you're going to miss out on the fluidity of what you're doing. So, um, you know, you be creative with these things and bring them into what you're, you can use as a warm-up to get your mind and your body ready for your run, which is going to set you up for a really enjoyable day. So try this stuff out. Let me know what you think. Reply back. Hit the like button if that's the case. And I'll see you soon.